what the French toast is going on, everybody? This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. We continue our five-minute review playlist. Today, it's time to talk about serotonin syndrome, an iatrogenic disease. It's also a triad of symptoms. With that said, now let's get started. This is my five-minute review playlist. Please watch these videos in order especially the video about carcinoid syndrome. As you know, carcinoid tumor is not the same as carcinoid syndrome. Carcinoid tumor is a mess. Whether or not it's gonna cause symptoms is an open question, not a foregone conclusion. To learn more about what the circumstances are in which this tumor is gonna cause symptoms, watch the video titled Carcinoid Syndrome. This is carcinoid tumor. What's the most common location of this tumor? The appendix, usually the tip of the appendix. This is carcinoid tumor. Is this carcinoid syndrome? No, why not? Because all of the serotonin that's secreted by this tumor is gonna go to the portal circulation, eventually in the liver. The liver will metabolize the serotonin, and therefore, no serotonin will escape to the systemic circulation, therefore, no symptoms. Since we have no symptoms, therefore, this is not a carcinoid syndrome, yet. But what if this carcinoid tumor has metastasized to the liver? Oh, now it can dish some serotonin into the hepatic veins and then into the systemic circulation. Ergo, symptoms. Ergo, carcinoid syndrome. Moreover, if the carcinoid syndrome started in the bronchi, aka bronchial carcinoid, it can cause serotonin syndrome without metastasizing to the liver. It's because of the anatomy. Most of the gut is in the portal circulation territory, but the bronchi are not. Serotonin is not the real name. This is the nickname. The actual scientific name is 5-hydroxytryptamine because it came from tryptophan. As you know, serotonin is a neurotransmitter. It's found in the central nervous system and outside the nervous system, as in carcinoid syndrome. Who secretes serotonin? Neurons, gut, and platelets. It was part of the platelet granules. Who metabolizes serotonin? MA, which is monoamine oxidase type A. The symptoms of carcinoid syndrome were discussed before. Pause and review. Serotonin came from tryptophan. Also, melatonin comes from serotonin. So it goes this way. Tryptophan becomes 5-hydroxytryptophan and then 5-hydroxytryptamine, aka serotonin, then melatonin, or you metabolize it into pieces of trash, degradation products known as 5-HIAA, 5-hydroxyindolacetic acid. Is carcinoid syndrome the same as serotonin syndrome? No, they are not identical, but they are similar. Both have to do with serotonin. However, carcinoid syndrome is usually caused by a tumor that secretes serotonin, but serotonin syndrome is caused by medications that the doctor gave you. Serotonin syndrome is iatrogenic. What does iatrogenic mean? It came from the Greek words iatrosgenese. My Greek is on fleek. Iatros means healer. Genesis means caused or induced or created by. So basically iatrogenic means it's created by your freaking doctor. But as you know, doctors are super sophisticated to the point of being stupid. They will never admit, oh, it's my fault. No, they say, it was iatrogenic. Man, what's wrong with these people? Serotonin syndrome has many synonyms. You can call serotonin syndrome, serotonergic syndrome, hyperserotoninemia, or serotonin toxicity. What is going on? Too much serotonin and too much dopamine in the central nervous system especially serotonin. Why? Medications, especially combination medications. It can happen with the introduction of new medications or by raising the dose of an old medication. The onset is usually rapid, but sometimes it's very gradual. Symptoms of serotonin syndrome can be summarized in a beautiful triangle. We have a triad of neuromuscular excitation symptoms plus autonomic nervous system excitation symptoms plus altered mental status or mental status changes. What do you mean by neuromuscular excitation? I mean hyperreflexia, muscle rigidity, myoclonus, and tremors. What do you mean by autonomic nervous system excitation problems, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hypertension, tachycardia, fever, or hyperthermia? What do you mean by altered mental status, agitation, anxiety, confusion, and even coma? Serotonin syndrome. What are the causes? Medications such as what? Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, MAO inhibitors, dextromethorphan, meperidine, lithium, tremidol, and even tryptophan because tryptophan gives you serotonin, which is 5-hydroxytryptamine. Awesome. 
especially when you combine two medications together. So you can combine SSRI with TCA. This increases the risk of serotonin syndrome. SSRIs and MAO inhibitors, SSRIs and meperidine, SSRIs and dextromethorphan, SSRIs and St. John's wort, which is an herbal medication. Symptoms include muscle rigidity, hyperthermia, myoclonus, hyperreflexia, tremor, autonomic instability symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hypertension, tachycardia, confusion, delirium, coma, death. How do I treat? Stop the effing medication, hydrate the patient, active cooling because of the hyperthermia, benzodiazepine to calm the patient down. If it is so bad, remember, in emergency, you start with your ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. So you might need to intubate and mechanically ventilate. And then give an anti-serotonin such as ciproheptadine. You can try chlorpromazine. By the way, you can learn about all of these medications in my CNS Pharmacology course available on my Butamus website, medicosisperfectsnelis.com. Do you remember octreotide? Yeah, it's a somatostatin analog, which means it's a universal inhibitor. It inhibits everything, including serotonin. Ciproheptadine is the medication of choice for serotonin syndrome. It works by inhibiting H1 histamine receptors and 5-HT serotonin receptors, basically all of the subtypes. Ciproheptadine can be used in serotonin syndrome or carcinoid syndrome. My favorite part of the lecture, pearls for the pros. Symptoms of serotonin syndrome are very similar to symptoms of ecstasy intoxication. Moreover, symptoms of serotonin syndrome are very similar to symptoms of neuroleptic malignant syndrome caused by antipsychotics when you inhibit the dopamine. But there is a teeny, teeny, tiny difference or two differences. Number one, serotonin syndrome has myoclonus, but neuroleptic malignant syndrome usually does not have myoclonus. Number two, serotonin syndrome has hyperreflexia. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome usually does not have hyperreflexia. If you want to learn more about serotonin, cyclic AMP, histamine, etc., check out my Utakoids pharmacology course. And to learn about neuropharmacology, Check out my CNS Pharmacology course also in the same way. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Thanks for watching. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense.